I'm John Blake, I'm the author of Sand Wizards, and I'm going to answer some of your questions, I hope. First of all, uh, where did I get the idea for the story? Well, uh, I was asked to write the story by the OUP. I can't actually remember what they asked me to write, but um, I did get the idea really from somewhere I know very well, which is Tenby, which is a um, beautiful resort in South Wales. I live in South Wales. And uh, there's a place there called Castle Beach, beautiful beach. Perhaps you could look it up. And uh, that was where it was set in my mind. But the idea, the basic idea behind the story, which is, of course, about the twins. Well, first of all, uh, I am a twin, uh, but I'm not an identical twin because that would be very strange because my twin is my sister. However, when I uh, used to live in Nottingham, uh, I had a friend there I knew quite well. And uh, I saw him once in town. I came up and said, hi, hello. And he just looked at me blankly. And uh, then he said, ah, you probably know my brother. And then I realised it was his identical twin. So I always remembered that. And uh, so that's what gave me the idea for the story. But inspiration for stories generally well, comes from all over the place, uh, quite often in dreams. Uh, quite often when I'm sort of dozing a bit, uh, things will come into my head and that I never planned to get there. And uh, I would also re recommend to, to all of you to keep a dream diary because uh, that will always give you ideas and, and things which you probably never think of normally, but it comes from your own head. So a keep a dream diary and maybe write write out the things that you that you dream and maybe alter things because it might make it a bit of a better story. Because the first stories I ever remember when I was young that I wrote came from my dreams, my nightmares, where I was scared of witches. And so I, I used to write about these nightmares, but in the stories I changed it around so that the witch was scared of me. And it helped me get over the nightmares. Uh, so um, that was a, a, an excellent way to, to think about writing a story. But generally, I think I'm, I mainly write comedy. And uh, this is the, the book I'm best known for at the moment, which is uh, Thimble, Monkey Superstar. And there's, there's two more in, in this series about a disabled boy based on my son and uh, a funny monkey, basically. And uh, the, the ideas in this often come from things that I've done or things that have happened to me or my family, uh, when I think, oh, just imagine if that had happened instead, or if something really terrible had happened, uh, like we uh, we swapped homes with somebody, which we often used to do, uh, and we blew up their house. Something completely ridiculous like that, which you would hate to happen in real life, but makes a great funny story. So that's the way a lot of my stories start, I'm just thinking, Imagine if this had happened, what's the worst thing that could have happened? And then you just make it happen and it makes a good story. So that's one thing I would say is a, um, an idea for getting your own stories going. But generally, I think one, one thing I would say is, you know, think out your stories. Uh, maybe talk about your ideas. Before you actually set pen to paper, just to discuss what you think ought to happen. And think it all out in your head. Let it brew is the way I think of it. Sometimes, you know, I'm letting a story brew for weeks, but uh, I doubt if you want to do that at your age. But uh, just to talk with other people you know, or with your teachers, and think out your stories before you do any writing at all. So you don't have to worry too much about spelling and punctuation and all those things, because that, that's not the only thing that matters with stories. What matters with stories is your ideas. And everybody has. I just them. want to mention this book. Now, this is an idea I had in 1990. Came out as a picture book, and it was the first book illustrated by Axel Scheffler, who then became very famous for illustrating the Gruffalo. Now, this book has sold over a quarter of a million copies, so it's my biggest selling book by a long way. And really, it just came from one simple idea, which is that. A rabbit that doesn't know what he is and so he doesn't realize he's in danger when a weasel comes and wants to eat him that's the basic story it's a very simple idea but it's it, uh, it made a very successful story a lot of the best stories are quite simple ideas ah, I just remember another question you asked me which is do I run out of inspiration and the answer is yes I do and uh, 
like everyone else, have good days and bad days. I don't even bother to try to write if I'm not having a good day. Uh, and uh, yeah, I do sometimes wonder what I'm going to write next. But um, it doesn't matter really. I mean, I don't write all the time. Uh, I write when I've, I've got the ideas. And uh, there's always something coming along. There's always something coming on. It's very important to keep your, your brain stimulated and go through travel if you can do that or uh, just things you watch and do just to keep your keep yourself mentally active and that that really helps with getting plenty of ideas i'm so glad you enjoyed this enjoyed this story and uh, if there's any more questions you've got about it i'll be happy to answer them